We're waking up today as a man on a mission. It's been like five days since I've received the one and only flamethrower. Or for legal reasons, I should say not a flamethrower. It's actually technically not, but it throws flames slightly. So no more messing around today. We're taking this to go and get a gas canister for it. Get the gas for the flamethrower. I need this documentation. Not because it gives me like permission to get gas canisters for a non flamethrower, because it has the 10 pound attached that Elon Musk himself sent. No joke, if you're only just tuning in right now and you only just found out I don't have a flamethrower, hmm. they sent this letter along with it because they couldn't ship the gas canisters like overseas. So instead they sent you 10 pounds and said, go buy one yourself. So it says common brands include Brazil Atomic Worthington, Rutherberger, <laughs> and Go system. So I'm gonna try and go to a shop in the UK we have called B and Q. I'm gonna go to B and Q. I'm gonna try and see if they have a gas canister there. And I'm gonna walk in the shop with the uh, flamethrower uh, upside down, backwards, in the hopes that they're not like this guy's got a flamethrower. And I'm like, no, don't worry, it's not flamethrower. It's a thrower of fire, not flames. Oh yeah, and you may be noticing that I keep wearing my hat like this the past couple of days. I usually don't suit hats, but you know what I'm just saying? I think the Sins original one's pretty good. Link in the description. But uh, more importantly, uh, I lost my hair gel. Not too sure where it is, so I've been wearing a cap backwards this entire time. So hopefully, whilst we're out, we can get some new hair gel, and uh, it'd be nice to find out where my car keys are, because uh, I can't leave without them. Just another day in the life of Tom, loading in my non-flamethrower to my Defender. In before I get pulled by the police, they ask me why I've got a flamethrower in the back of my car, and then I have to be like, well, Technically, it's not a flamethrower. It throws a flame, but it's not a flamethrower. Um, and then I'll probably end up getting arrested. So, wish me luck. Hello. I have a toy to show you. What? I feel like you'd appreciate this toy more than anyone. It's a flamethrower. Oh, you, how did you do it? <laughs> what, wire it into kitchen mate? <laughs> I was thinking about doing it to my house, actually. How cool looking is that? I like how you just put down a broom and picked up a flamethrower. A man with multi-purpose. <laughs> if this one guy I've grown up with my entire life loving guns and all sorts of cool gadgets, it's me and him. I used to make guns out of pieces of wood and pipe. We used to like tape uh, lighters together, didn't we? And try and make fire bombs. Don't I do that. Have a real one. Yeah, and now I have a real one. It's actually technically not a flamethrower in case I get pulled over by the police. It's not a flamethrower. It's a thrower of a flame. Thank you. No, we're not deodorant cannon it. I'm gonna find a gas canister and then we're gonna burn down the building. Be right back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Great parking there, mate. Great parking. Yeah, all right, let's not try and freak people out by walking inside with this. But I quite literally have to take it inside to be able to fit the gas canister. So I'm gonna hold it under my arm like um, this and uh, hopefully everything's okay. We have made it to my destination, B and Q. I don't actually know what B and Q stands for. After all these years, I actually don't know the answer. Either way, time to gas up this non flamethrower. I don't really know where to begin with the, this investigation. So uh, I'm just gonna ask a member of staff. Hi, where can I buy gas? Excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to find a gas canister to fit this. Do you know where I could possibly find one? A, a gas? Gas canister. I think they're all on aisle four. Is it like small really? one about? Uh, it just needs to fit inside that canister. Yeah, I think they're on aisle four. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Okay, aisle four, plumbing. Not too sure that there's gas canisters on aisle four. Mm. Mm. Trying to nonchalantly walk through the and with the flamethrower is. Oh, cool. oh, sweet. I think I might have found the right canister. Okay, this gas is actually what they actually recommend for using for this thing, but I don't know if to get this one or to get that one. Mm. Also, the member of staff was like, not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. And from videos I've seen of other people, the gas runs out really, really quick. So I might need to buy a few. Okay, that's quite funny. Which gas would you like? It's got all these fittings, all these, everything. Um, I don't see this on here anywhere. Just gonna wing taking these two. What's the worst that could happen? The guy who made Tesla, was, he's a rich billionaire, was like, I'm gonna make flame pros. All right. So I bought one. Okay. Successful shop, was successful. Um, I'm saying that, but I don't even know if this is the right gas yet, so. I guess we'll soon find out. I got a coffee today. It's a latte, mm, but with coconut milk, because apparently that's better for you. So, uh... That tastes like the most watered down coffee I've ever had in my life, but... Oh, no, there it is. There's the coconut aftertaste. Blah. We care about no coffee. We care about flamethrowers and gasoline. Oh yeah. Now, if there's ever been anything in my entire life that you're supposed to go, Tom, read the instructions first, uh, it would be setting this up. But to be fair, I, I think all I've got to do is put this into there, take this cap off, put this into the back end. Yep. Okay. And now, all I believe I've got to do is turn this. Oh yeah, I heard the gas go in. Pull the trigger. And the, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, that tech
That's the most epic thing I've ever done in my life. Don't you like that I didn't even have to read the instructions? All you do is plug it in, turn the gas so it's flowing, have it so it's spraying out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the coolest thing I've ever used. I have a flamethrower. I own a goddamn flamethrower. For safety purposes, this is not a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth every penny I spent on it. So, Tom, what are you going to use your flamethrower on? Now, Tomorrow, I'm going to go down to Wes's at the restaurant. I'm going to try and cook a meal with a flamethrower. So tomorrow's vlog, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, leave a like rating. We're going to be cooking food with that thing. But for today, um, you guys know that whenever I get like an air rifle or a weapon with spikes on it or something, um, I throw it at a particular thing. Now, just to put this out here right now, this is my mountain biking downhill idol that my dad managed to get this statuette of him or whatever like it's a cut out of him but i just use him for target practice so ladies and gentlemen this is steve pete uh he's an amazing guy he's actually incredibly talented at mountain biking he's a, he's a, he's a world champion he's the best but um he's my target practice and he's the also the only target that i have so um let's try and see what a flamethrower will do to stephen pete I don't even know if Steve Pete knows that I've thrown shurikens at him, fired air rifles at him, you know, all of the above. I don't think ever in his life when he got that created for whatever stand it was, that someone would be using not a flamethrower at it. Steve Pete versus flamethrower. Okay, turn it on. I like how it actually has a direction of on or off. Fire the gas. Ignite. Okay, Steve. Oh, he's dead. It's falling. It's falling. So, uh, instant first singe. Let's take a look. Made sure the gas is turned off nice and safely. And let's take a look at Steve. All right, Steve. Um, well, it looks like he's got boxes ears. They've turned into like cauliflower ears. Let me just put that out real quick. <sighs> um, he's, he's, he's grown a few warts on his chin. That looks really, really disgusting. Time to conduct Steve Pete versus flamethrower. Not flamethrower. Take two. This time the groin region. Oh, he's bending in half. He's bending in half. He is bending in half. Okay, 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 oh. Okay, now let's stop. Woof. Woof. Oh, mate, the plastic smell. Turn it off. Oh. <coughs> Probably shouldn't wear a gas mask doing this, you know, full safety and all that. End of the day, it's, a flame. it's not a flamethrower, so it don't matter. The Boring Company flamethrower versus Steve P. Successful test two. Oh my gosh. He's grown welts. He's legitimately grown welts. Um, he should probably go and get this checked out. He's got a few little um, warts of such down in his nether regions. He's taken a beating, to be fair. He's taken a legitimate beating. Oh no, I have leaves around my house. No worries. I can just take a look at my non flamethrower. Wow, look at that. It does such a great job. Such a great job. Wow, look at that. I feel completed in life. I feel absolutely completed in life, and you better know I'm gonna get this mounted on my wall like a Call of Duty zombie gun. I'm gonna get it stenciled into the wall like a sick outline on it so I can just hook it onto the wall and it just sits there because that is the coolest thing in the goddamn world. And then in news, your boy better know I've been posted on the gaming channel again. I posted a video yesterday of giving away a mystery box edition, so if you want to get your hands on one of them, link in the description. And then I posted a reaction to a zombie's Easter egg song, which I did not know existed, which was the entire zombie community coming together, including Noah J, doing a rap called It's Killing Time, bro, based on the Jake Paul song. So to the people asking me, Tommy, you're gonna get back posting gaming videos, zombie videos, and all that sort of stuff? Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I am posting. I've done three videos this week alone, and I've got a pretty epic one going up tonight. And I'm just going to give you a spoiler right now. You see how, like, Mr. B started that trend of, like, donating to Twitch streamers and stuff like that. And I see, like, Simon's done it, Rice Gum's done it, all these people. They're all copying the idea. I decided to take the inspiration of Mr. Beast and donate to a certain type of streamer to see if they would give up their passion for the cash. So you're gonna have to find out what that is uh, today. I'm gonna try and get it uploaded tonight. So if you're watching this right now on Life of Tom, if you go to the gaming channel, youtube.com forward slash syndicate, I've posted a pretty interesting video for you there. It panned out the most random way, probably because I was filming at like three o'clock in the morning and I went to bed at like 5 a.m. But I think it's a pretty dope video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll put a link down in the description to that when it comes out. But I do indeed need to end this vlog. I know you might be like, wait a minute, Tom, you only just got up, went and got a flamethrower and fired it. But that's literally all I did all day, seriously. 
Honestly, got up, used the flamethrower, made videos all day, and went to bed. So I hope you enjoyed the day of the life of Tom. No, I'm allergic to wasps. No, go away, wasp. <laughs> Sorry, there was a wasp trying to get in. And more than anything, if you guys have got suggestions of what I can do with a flamethrower, then please, by all means, let me know. Me and Wes tomorrow are going to try and cook a steak dinner with the flamethrower, so make sure you're tuned in for that. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. I love you, I'll leave you, and a sadios.